Okay, so if you're feeling slightly seasick, it's because the floor in here is uneven and every time I breathe, the camera moves. Hello and welcome to Try It Tuesday. This is a new segment or slash series I'm going to be starting on the channel. It's not going to be every Tuesday because I have commitment issues. But this is where we're going to be in my sewing room studio and we're just going to try and do something. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Today I know what it's going to be and I'll explain that in a minute. Before I go on, it's quickly time for my favourite segment ever, which is... Mug of the day. So this is actually a My Favourite Murder mug that I got when I went to see them live on tour. My Favourite Murder is a podcast that I listen to. I'm a big fan of podcasts and it is like a person in a lifeboat. It basically says, here's the thing, f*** everyone. It's a great mug. So for Stage Try It Tuesday, we're going to be trying to make something. We're making a costume. The general consensus for Try It Tuesdays will be literally, it could be anything. We could be baking, we could be doing a new craft, trying an old craft. It's basically like a day to create something and I just, it's a way to challenge everyone and myself to just try it, whatever it may be. Today, I'm going to be making a fairy costume from scraps in my sewing room cupboard thing. Basically, as a quick brief rundown as to why I'm doing this, I think it's important to preface that I live in a house with my boyfriend, my best friend and her boyfriend. And obviously we've all been in lockdown together for quite a long time now and we've just gone into another lockdown. So to entertain ourselves, we tend to throw parties for ourselves at various points. We had an Australia themed party for Katie's birthday. We had a space cowboy themed party that was actually for Joe's birthday. We then held a prom randomly. We also did a beach party. Basically just, we like throwing parties to entertain ourselves because what else is there to do when you know we're working during the day and like just kind of staying in the house all the time last night we decided that tonight we're going to be throwing a pick your own theme party the way we've done this pick your own theme party is we all wrote down four different themes put them into a, a hat slash bowl and we all picked out then two themes from that now these are going to be themes that we're doing in our fancy dress slash like how we act and party um, and they ranged from things like 80s drag to like cowboy or explorer i have picked out fairy obviously my other housemates don't know that yet because it's all a surprise we don't know who each other's coming as the reason we picked out two was because we wanted to give ourselves options to go as one or the other or to merge them and go as one whole thing i actually picked out tiktok influencer and fairy and I wanted to merge the two, but I couldn't think of like a solid way to do it. So maybe as I go along this process, I'll think of a way to merge them. But for now, I'm just going with fairy because it's the thing that I think I'll be able to do to the best of my ability. So I'm very excited. So I thought that today to launch Try It Tuesday, we would try and make a costume from scrap, just using what I've really got in my sewing room. And so let's get started. The only thing I'm thinking at the moment to utilize this is I want to do sort of like a bralette type thing like stitched in cups as a top and it'll be like a tie up top because I think that's the easiest thing to do and tie up tops are adjustable and they're really easy to make you don't have to worry about zippers and things and then a little sort of high low wrap skirt I don't know I think it's not very fairy actually the wrap skirt I want to do something maybe a little bit more like sticky out I don't know but the the main event for this fairy like obviously that's going to be that's the, the idea I have in my head. But the main event is gonna obviously be the wings. Now I have some craft wire, which I was playing around with last night after I pulled out my names. And I formed these sort of, I don't even know if you'll be able to see them, they're so thin. These sort of wing shapes. They couldn't look like bugs, bug wings rather than, rather, they look like bug wings rather than fairy wings. I don't know if you can see them, but it's something I'm playing around with because I also have some gold organza fabric, which I'm thinking I'm gonna to use to make the wings. And that's really gonna tie this thing together. Just We're just trying it out. We'll see what happens. And at the end of the day, it's a party in my house. So if it looks terrible, it looks terrible. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by sketching out my rough design. I knew I wanted to sort of focus in on what I wanted the top to be, which was this sort of strappy tie up thing. And then I decided to go for a more tiered, looking skirt so to add a little bit of ruffles if I had enough fabric um to sort of give it a bit more of a tutu-esque type look because to me that was a little bit more fairy themed so here's the image and then from here I started to draw out my pattern now you can use normal patterning paper um if you have any I didn't have any on me at the time so I decided to use normal paper and that's totally fine so what I'm doing here is taking uh one of my bikini tops and using that to trace the outline of my bra top cup thing because that's just how if I'm in a rush and I'm not really wanting things to be super accurate it's a great way to get the general shape and if you're new to patterning as well using your own clothes as a basis is one of the easiest ways and it's basically how I learned how to pattern my own clothes is through my own clothes so now I'm just going through and cutting out the pattern piece I just made I'm only going to use one pattern piece for both my boobs I'm just going to turn it around so I make sure that I am you know cutting out two of the correct sides because obviously there is going to be a right and wrong side depending on your fabric um so you just want to make sure you're keeping an eye on that so I'm just going to make sure it's all cut out and ready to roll and I'm just gonna um you know pop up against my my boobicle and see if it 
fits so you'll notice they're cut slightly curved edges and that is so that it creates depth um and so that hopefully i wouldn't ha won't have to put darts in i do end up having to put darts in but that's you know for another time um so now i'm just measuring from underneath my boob until the waistline so i know how much how big i need to make my next piece um for the bottom half of the top um so i'm just measuring that out on a piece of paper again and marking that i think mine was six and a half inches so that's um i've put an inch in for seam allowance um and now i need to take my waist measurement to work out how long i need this piece to be now i've taken my waist measurement and then taken six inches off that because i want it to be an open back um to really show off the lacing so although my piece of paper isn't long enough to do 22 inches which is what it ended up being the length wise i've just cut that down to 11 inches and i'm going to cut that along the fold line of the fabric if that makes any sense at all but that's what i've basically drawn onto my paper and i'm marking the fold line so i remember when i'm cutting out that i need to put that on the fold of, of the fabric to make sure i have double the amount and so let's get going so basically what i'm doing here is for the cups i'm cutting out using the scrappy edges because i need the main body of the fabric for the skirt and so i'm having to be a bit economical here with the fabric because this is scraps left over in my store so i've got my cups cut out i've pinned them down cut them out and now i'm going to cut out the second side using the same um pattern pieces but obviously just reversing them so that they are the right side because my fabric does have a right and a wrong side so i actually ended up cutting out my middle section um off camera because it didn't quite fit on my cutting table so i'm now going to start construction so i'm just going to whiz all of this stuff through my sewing machine and whiz it through i did so here i'm just popping together the two sides of the cup for the first boobical and i'm just stitching that quite close to the edge my original idea was to do french seams but i didn't leave enough seam allowance um and obviously this is just a costume so i'm not super worried about the edges being really really neat on the inside so i'm just doing a regular seam and i've just popped that against my breast to check it fits and i'm going to quickly do up the other side and attach them down the middle so now we have something that looks somewhat like a bra and i've just attached the bottom section to it so as you can see now that's like fully constructed really so the next step is to roll over obviously not as big as i just did it there that was for dramatic purposes we're just rolling the edges i did have the idea to bind the edge with with ribbon but i quickly dis discarded the idea because i wanted to just make it really neat and really simple would well, you want to have the six o'clock is it you want to have the part oh what were you told me it was six o'clock would you want to have the party no, at six I then said what time? you said seven i said no six. Oh right so you want to have the party at six yeah. gosh are we grandparents or something? Oh, sorry. I just, I need a bit more time on my outfit. Yeah, well, don't we all? I need you to make it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not making it anymore. What are you actually doing as we tell me? No, I'm not telling you. No one knows what anyone's going at. It's the point of the party. Fine. Okay, so now the edges are nice and rolled and neat, and I'm just going to do a really smooth transition. Boom, look at that. And the straps are on, and now a less smooth transition. I just thought I'd show that to you all know I'm not perfect, and I'm not a TikTok influencer. Uh, so now I've got the ribbon straps on, and I've made these little loops, which I'm attaching to the back of the bodice, because these are what I'm going to be threading the ribbon through to make it make sense oh quick pasta break while i dance to taylor swift that's the reason there's no audio in any of this because i was just listening to evermore on repeat and having a good old sing song like i am <laughs> right in that clip there um while i sew and so now all of those loops are on and they're ready for ready for business we can see if the bodice will work slash do up um me and my mannequin were having a grand old time trying to do this it was um a bit of a palaver but once we're in it's actually like kind of successful and i'm genuinely baffled at how nice it looks like wait until i show you the back because actually the back looks really nice and crisscrossed i'm very glad i went with the ribbon rather than trying to make my own straps because i just think this is a lot cleaner looking and just it took way less time as well um so as you can see i did have a bit of gaping on the front um so i've decided I'm gonna, i am gonna do darts so i just pin that down um and i'm gonna take that in and now i'm just admiring it look at that nice back i really like the colors as well i'm still munching on my pasta so just you know ignore that for the time being so now we're onto the skirt i cut out basically just a strip of fabric and i'm basically going to be gathering it onto a piece of elastic so 
I know I'm gonna want to um, basically have it really stretched out. I'm cutting the elastic to the size of my waist and usually I would have made a channel and then threaded it through but actually for something like a costume you can just stitch the elastic straight on so what you want to do is just make sure that you're stretching the elastic as you're sewing it onto the fabric and that will make it automatically gathered and if the elastic's been cut right it will fit your waist. So now I'm doing that and what I didn't actually end up filming was the next layer that I popped on top of that and so she's back on the mannequin and that's how the whole well I say it's a dress but it is really two pieces but I'm thrilled with how it's looking so far I was playing around with waist things before I went onto the wings this was an attempt at the wing I tried to put it onto the um wire I showed you before but I ended up using the wire stitching that all on but then using cardboard to back it because as you can see I needed it to be able to stand upright and I was having a bit of difficulty with that uh, I ended up having to resort to sellotaping it onto some cardboard. I then ended up stitching ribbon onto it. So now the ribbon around the waist actually is the ribbon that's holding the wings on. And the wings are a lot smaller than I wanted them to be. And honestly, I was really running out of fabric. And the gold organza that I've used to fill those gaps is not quite right. To be honest, it doesn't quite... The colour scheme just... It's not it. But I'm actually really overall happy with how it turned out. And I'm just very excited to show you these pictures now of how it, how it all went down. And I'm just, yeah, thrilled, to be honest, for a quick little DIY thing. Um, and now I will leave you with a few closing words from Laura at the party because I forgot to film a real outro. So there we go. Enjoy. Realised I never actually filmed a proper outro for this. We're about to party. Um, I hope you guys found it enjoyable and you'll have seen pictures inserted um, and images of how the actual final thing turned out. And I'm really happy. Uh, but obviously this was not really a tutorial that people could like follow along. It's kind of vague and haphazard. But if you had a good time watching it or if you tried your own Try It Tuesday, um, then I would love to know. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Goodbye. Type shape but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna show you in a second why are you talking about your boobs i'm talking about my boobs because it's like i'm making a top <laughs> get out <laughs> i think i've got my dress form here this one is well like we're really good friends but um she has very unstable legs 